script actually, no, it has your name on it. You can put your script. Arlene.
Good morning. Uh, sorry for the uh, slight delay to proceedings. Fall to row. You can share a show. You're very welcome. Uh, in the interest of uh, health and safety, uh, please note the emergency, emergency exits at the back here and to my right. Okay. Um, and just also to inform you that this uh, ceremony is currently being streamed live. So I need to inform you of it. Um, and can I now ask you please to be upstanding for the academic procession. If I can ask you just to remain upstanding, please, for the President's procession. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I am honoured to welcome you to this important ceremony at which awards will be conferred on students of the National College of Ireland. Aina Erika is more an honour to Faru Nafalcha, a core row of Higgin Sharman is brunt the Cayman is shot, in a brunt for Duishina er Vickling. I now call upon Gina Quinn, President of the National College of Ireland, to confer Master's 
degrees, diplomas and certificates on the students of the National College of Ireland on behalf of Quality and Qualifications Ireland presented by the College for that purpose. And can I ask all graduates to remain standing? Good morning. On behalf of Quality and Qualifications Ireland, I hereby confer QQI Masters, Degrees, Diplomas and Certificates of the Council on the candidates of the National College of Ireland. President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed courses at the National College of Ireland and who are worthy of Masters, Degrees, Diplomas and Certificates. I request you to present their parchments to them. A Uchtharam, Kurim Nahinkiemi Shohalanis, A Jiri Lo, Kursi A Kreeknu, A Galaistia Nashunta Naherim, Agus Ega Will Maestrachta, Kiemina, Diplomi, Agus Devnaha, Yarvu, Kaliakta, Agus Kaliakti, Erin Tiltjaku, Iriam Ortsi Anish, Abar of Runu Orhu. And please take your seats. Those who are not called will be conferred in absentia and their names will not be called out. Please do not applaud until after each group of five has been called out. Master of Arts in Human Resource Management. Priyanka Chigumpi, Rebecca Dunn, Sukanya Sudhir Nott. Master of Science in Marketing, Amy Burke. <laughs> Postgraduate Diploma in Arts and Human Resource Management, John Rugrock. Postgraduate Diploma in Business in Management, Denise Alves Thomas, Prudvi Latha Dandu, Bueno Jean de More Vidal. Postgraduate Diploma in Science in Cloud Computing. Prashant Balaji, Jovil Chabra, Madhumita Kundu, Gayatri Pururi, Rishipal Singh. Higher Diploma in Science in Data Analytics, Margaret Mokomovo, Vesta Baransquete, Henry Barbosa, Adam Brown, Jedra Merlugiene. Rose Deegan, Camila Domin, Tatiana Melo dos Santos, 
Simona Farkas, Simone Ferreira Batista. Magdalani Pinkmanford Latko, Liam Kelly, Jung Jungyong Kim, James Lane, Shivaranjini Loknath. Niku Gania, Gerard Gatley, Colum Han, Pargal Lynch, Waldemar Medozeski. Colum Murta, Michael O'Donohue, Felix Rice, Robert Rose, Paul Smithers, Julia Streckfuss, Yunyun Sun, Dwayne Timmons.
Justina Wawinska. Bachelor of Arts Honours in Early Childhood Education. Lisa Purcell. <laughs> Diploma in Pensions Management and Policy. Hannah Koskova. Leaders for Change Certificate in Nonprofit Leadership and Management. Marie Finan, Killian Flynn, and Lenore. <laughs> Lorraine McHugh. Dermot Nestor, Maria Pete Sorensen. <laughs> Katie Prendergast, John Stevens, and Evan Ward. Certificate in Pensions, Investment and Insurance, Yvonne O'Connor. <laughs> Certificate in Retail Management, Catherine Foley, Will Garnett, Carolyn O'Connell. I now call upon Gina Quinn, President of the National College of Ireland, to speak. So, good morning again, everybody. And uh, I want to just start by saying a very, very sincere congratulations to all our graduates. And I think they deserve another round of applause. Well done, everybody. day of celebration and I know that you as our students will be really feeling that it's a well-deserved day after all your hard work. But I want you to think just for a moment about all of the people who have helped you to get here today. Because I know, even in my own life journey, that I wouldn't be standing here before you as President of National College of Ireland if it wasn't for all the people who have helped me in my journey. My parents, my siblings, my husband, my children, all of my many friends and many colleagues who have supported me in my life's journey. So I want you to think about the people who are here with you here today, or those who are far away perhaps watching from another country, and I want you, the graduates, to give everybody who has supported you a big round of applause in thanks for their help. Well done, and never forget 
those who have helped us. So you're heading out into the world, firmly clutching your new qualification. And what have I got to say to you? Well, I want to say to you, congratulations on your most recent qualification. And I say recent, and it might be a little churlish of me to raise the issue of lifelong learning when you've just got through this particular milestone. But we must all be committed to lifelong learning. It's both a requirement of the world of work and a fantastic personal opportunity. As well as the specific skills you have learnt during your programme here at NCI, the learning experience itself, sometimes referred to as the third teacher, will have added really positively to you as a person. So the brilliant person who walked in here on the first day to commence your program is even more brilliant today because of the experience that you have had. And your lecturers, your friends and family will all see that change in you as you have gone through this learning experience. The impact of education is far reaching and there's plenty of research to back this up. The claims of the great Greek teachers, Plato and Aristotle, were that education is a key role to achieving personal fulfillment and the well-being of society. And there are many contemporary research studies that have backed up that early objective. Education adds so much more than just skills. It has also been shown to improve our personal well-being and also our overall contribution to society, to be a force for good in the world generally. But of course, don't ignore your new skills either. In only a few short years, less than half a decade, the World Economic Forum is predicting that there will be a massive shift in the nature of jobs in the labour market. We all know the things that are driving those changes. We live in an increasingly globalised world where not just companies, but also consumers come from all over the world. Of course that change is being driven by technology and the application of technology. It's also being driven by changes, massive changes, in trading and economic circumstances. And we first-hand experience of that as we watch the whole Brexit saga unfold. Those factors, those changes in the world of work, are by being driven by the very human population itself. Its growth, the ageing of our human population, our migratory behaviours, and the impacts we are all having on our planet, including climate change. But the good news that I would say to all our graduates is that in all of this change, what some might call extreme turmoil, you have provided yourself with yet another anchor. A firm anchor based on knowledge, skills and the ability to learn. An ability to learn within the collective of the class, your lecturers, to work within the team. I firmly believe that this anchor is going to firmly support you as you go forward in your career. As you reach out to address the many skill shortages there are in our immediate economy here in Ireland and in the wider global economy. Your ability to learn to learn in itself is an anchor for your future endeavours. Our emphasis on encouraging your inquiry, 
your analysis, your discussion, your learning through the group on presenting and communicating your ideas are all skill sets that will increasingly be called upon as you progress in your career and in life. So I encourage you to use all of your skills, yes, the specific ones that have a name from your program, but also the learning skills you have honed during your time here in NCI. Be brave, trust in yourself and trust in others. Use your networks, be your best self for both yourself and for others. And remember that education is a privilege and a responsibility. Use your knowledge wisely, use your creativity, your critical thinking, your ability to influence others and get things done through the collective. Use that well. And do embrace lifelong learning. As the world changes around you, keep yourself current, or better still, ahead of the pack. And remember that the college is always here from you, for you, not just as a future educator, but we do love to hear from our alumni. Many of you during your programmes will have heard from former students of NCI who've come back to talk to your classes about their own experiences and career development. And I know those alumni will have inspired you. So we encourage you to be an NCI hero. Keep in touch, keep engaged with the college and let us know that you are living proof of the benefits of continuing education. On behalf of all my academic and professional colleagues here at NCI, can I thank you most sincerely for choosing us to share this part of your life's journey with you. I wish you every success in continuing the job of creating your own future. Thank you. Thank you, Gina. I now call upon Dr. Pramod Pathak, Dean of the School of Computing, to present the School of Computing Special Achievement Award. Uh, these are presented to students who have achieved the highest First Class Honours Degree Award in their respective course. Higher Diploma in Science in Data Analytics, Shivaranjini Loknath. This uh, concludes the meeting for the purpose of conferring master's degrees, diplomas and certificate awards on the students of National College of Ireland. Refreshments will be provided uh, in the restaurant just across the atrium. Uh, best wishes and thanks to everyone. Uh, guests and students are requested to remain in their places until the President's uh, academic procession leaves. Thank you.